Hello everyone, it's Petrina and Ronald. <laughs> Welcome to our Wednesday Wellness Live on this page, Planet Wellness. If you're watching live, please say hello in the comments below. And if you're watching on the replay, please type in hashtag replay. So those of you who have been following us, you know that we have now resumed our way our, our presence on a local radio station, libertyradio.co.uk. So mm -hmm. we do a wellness section early in the morning, about 7.45 mm -hmm. in the morning, every Wednesday. And today we talked about the benefits of avocados. And we're going to be repeating that and also sharing a few more tips that we did not share on the radio. Yep. So over to you, Ronald. Right. So um, what the, the reason why we picked avocado today is because... For the last uh, probably five years, I've been looking at headlines in the paper uh, worldwide, but, but more so in the UK. And it's been quite staggering about the, the emphasis and the occurrence uh, very often of comments made on dementia. Uh, and in fact, it's so prevalent now that um, they're... The, the experts are saying that the way things are going in the UK, that by the time people get to 70, right now as it's happening, by the time they get to 70, um, one in three people will get dementia. I'll repeat that. One in three people will get dementia. All right? In other words, the, the brain's like, it's got like scrambled eggs and, it, and it, the memory is no longer the same. And the problem with dementia is that you people don't realise this, but I've seen it firsthand. When you get dementia, people will will put the fire, the gas fire on, at two o'clock in the morning and leave it on and go to bed, right? And the chances are the the drapes, the wood, whatever, will catch on fire. So they become a very very uh, reliable part of catching on fire when people get dementia because they just don't know, they don't remember where they put their car, they don't remember where they put their keys. That's the start of things. Market. So if you're going to get one in three people getting dementia, there's a very high economic uh, deficit that you're going to have to try and keep care of these people. People don't realise this, but this is the key of why, why we're going to recommend what we recommend today. And, and that is that when you get dementia, serious dementia, you need three carers per day. See, dementia is like, once you get it and serious, it's around the clock, so you could be doing something very stupid that you wouldn't normally do at 2 o'clock in the morning or 3 o'clock in the morning. So you need to have a three carers. Carers get exhausted. You can't have one carer for the whole all 24 hours. So you tend to have at least two carers, 12 hours each, or three carers at eight hours, and that costs you a fortune. So what is also important to note is that if you don't listen to what I'm going to say to you, eventually... You may have to sell your house to pay for your carers. So I'm going to give you a very, very powerful way to keep your brains in very, very good shape. Right? And why I know it will work is because I'll be 75, I'll repeat that, 75 in August. right? And I've been eating avocados very regularly for a long, long time. Right? And that's what we're going to talk about today. Avocados. Now... I've seen the spelling. It can be the, some people call it avos, a v o s, wrong, or avocado, a v o c a r d o, wrong. It's avocado, a v o c a d o. Now, basically, the the avocado came originally to the Incas, uh, in <coughs> excuse me, in South America, and um, and the the Spanish got onto it. And they started growing it uh, through the Incas' um, influence on them. Now, avocados are grown in um, Nicaragua, Chile, Spain, Italy, Australia, Mauritius, um, and many parts of Africa. So we, we, we seem to be getting quite a good supply of them these days, but the price is high. Because it, because some some people who are, are using it on a regular basis, and they're prepared to pay quite a top. <coughs> sorry, I've been eating nuts. They pay quite a top price. So 
So what? Are, why is the avocado so important? First of all, let me show you. There's one there. See that? That's the, that's the size. Now that is about uh, three inches long. Okay, three inches long, and it's. Should you see that? So if you look at this, compared to my hands, here's my hands. Have a look at the size of it. See, it's quite big. Now that is a small one. You also get the avocados that are about three or four times that big, and and I've seen them grow in in New South Wales and Queensland where they grow about three or four times this big. Now, why is the avocado so important? It would have to be one of the richest fruits slash vegetables that you could eat because it contains a minimum of between 18 to 24 vitamins and minerals. Right? 20 is about the accepted figure. Now, why is it so important? Those minerals they've got, for example, if you take potassium, right, you get potassium in bananas, but you don't get much else apart from the sugar. But in avocado, you've got potassium, magnesium, calcium, selenium, lutein, vitamin A, vitamin C, and so on and so on and so on. You also got excellent sources of EFAs, essential fatty acids, all right? Now, why is this so important? Why am I saying about dementia? When you eat essential fatty acids on a regular basis, at least once every second day, but preferably once every day, especially when you get older, when you're eating the avocado, the avocado feeds your to your liver, the liver breaks it down, and the fat, the essential fatty acid, good fat, goes into your brain and it feeds every part of your brain the synapses the actual pipes you know like the the the, the tubing of the nerves the sheath on the nerves all of those are very very uh, lubricated with the essential fatty acids that you eat through avocado all right so it's a very powerful tool against things like dementia alzheimer's memory loss uh cognitive function, very, very important. So now, as well as the vitamins and the minerals, avocado can be used as a vegetable. It can also be used as a fruit, right? So because it is so versatile, the, 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 the quality of the flesh is such that it will absorb with uh, any food you eat, it will absorb, right? Now, so what I would suggest you do, because of the price, if, unless you can afford more, I would suggest you eat one avocado that size, that size, about if, once every two days. Just eat the whole thing every two days. I'm going to give you a recipe in a minute about the about how you can use an avocado. It's really, really tasty. But if you can't get avocado in in as like that, there is such a thing as an organic. Can you see that? Organic avocado oil that's a very good quality one and i think uh i paid 250 about mils. two this two, is 250 mils 250 mils that's 250 mils bottle you don't need to use a lot so if you use that one you only need to use about uh, a dessert spoon in your food every day now so i'm going to give you one of my favorite recipes you know what a fajita is fajita is a is like a like a like a soft wrap, right? Like a soft bread. So I use three fajitas, the the actual like crepes. You put them, you put two on a plate side by side, and then what you do is you put you put uh, salmon, uh, f like really red salmon, preferably because that's got that's got more antioxidants in it. Plus also it's got the essential fatty acids as well. It's all very high in antioxidants. So you put salmon first, you put about, you know, about probably 50 grams, 50 grams of salmon in there. Then you put a, a half a slice uh, Lebanese cucumber, slice it up, put it in there. Fresh lettuce, four or five leaves of fresh lettuce. Uh, two slices of tomato, uh, some red onion, some um, celery chopped up, organic celery chopped up. And uh, what else have I? You've got avocado. Avocado. Yeah. And avocado, mm -hmm. right? And avocado. And then you drizzle avocado oil on that mixture, or you can use 
extra virgin olive oil. Now for the dressing of the avocado, for the dressing of this, this fajita, you can also put in aioli, A-I-O-L-I, which is a which is a, a, a mayonnaise made with, with garlic. eye with garlic. Very tasty. Also I highly recommend one or two chilies. And I'll show you one. About one of those is enough. Like that, see? See? One of those chilies is enough, right? So to recap, two base, base of two, salmon, right? And then you've got cucumber, lettuce, celery, tomatoes, cucumber, tomatoes. Avocado. Avocado. All right. You can add other things, but you, but you'll have quite a bit. And then once you've got that right and you put the dressing on top, you drizzle, you cut this up, and you put all the small pieces of that on top, on the very top. And then you can also put a little bit more olive oil, as I said before. Then you use a third fajita and you cover that first base. Then you, you wrap it up like a like a piece of like piece of paper you wrap it up like you wrap it up like that both sides down down the bottom and then you hold it like that right make sure you've got your clean sleeves you got like that and then you start eating it and you you eat it and, and you eat it all the way through and you the, the flavor of the avocado the chili the olive oil and the cucumber oh unbelievably tasty right and that's one of my favourite foods. If ever I'm really hungry, and I've been in the garden, for example, I've been doing a lot of work reading, I will sit down for about half an hour and I will make the fajita with the avocado. Now, if you haven't got time, doesn't matter. If you haven't got time, another good way to eat the avocado, that's one of my favourites as well, is once you get like that, if you haven't got time to do the fajita, you cut the avocado in half like this, you get the knife and you hit the, 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 the pip inside the actual seed. The avocado will be hollow. And then you bend the avocado in half like that. There'll be like a hole in it. And you guess what you put in it? Honey, really good honey, or and or Canadian maple syrup, right? And then just enough to cover the hole. And then you get a spoon. And you, you take a bit of avocado, a bit of honey, a bit of apple syrup, the um, the um, maple, maple syrup, syrup, and then you eat that slowly. And you eat it, and you, you eat it till the skin. You've, you've emptied the flesh out of the skin, okay? That's a good way to do it when you don't have time, or not enough time. But when you have the other things with it, with the cucumber, or the other thing I meant to mention, make sure you put some coriander as well with that fajita. The coriander leaves... An avocado mixture, oh, it just it just sends it in the orbit. In fact, or even taste fresh that. mint. Fresh, fresh mint. mint. Fresh mint is another one, especially if you've got fresh mint growing organically, right? So I'm going to post this somewhere where we get all these ingredients in, and then you'll be able to uh, try it and then give us some feedback on how you like it, or whether you like it as much as I do. Okay. All right. So remember, if you want to avoid dementia, if you want to prevent dementia. Make avocado a daily part of your routine or at least once every two days. All right, so I hope you found this useful. Mm. If you have, please give us a heart, like, care or wow emoji. Hello, AJ. Good to see you here and thanks for supporting our live. And um, do join us back on Wednesday. Like I said, Wednesday morning, 6.30 a.m. till 8 a.m. We are on the radio, internet radio, mm. libertyradio.co.uk and we have a Wednesday wellness live on this page as well. Tag yeah. your friends who need to know about this uh, secret yeah. of, you know, avoiding dementia and Alzheimer's. Yes. And yeah. we look forward to seeing you on our next live. Whilst, whilst I remember, there's another great benefit about, about avocados and the essential fatty acids. You end up, when you eat it properly on a regular basis, you end up with fantastic skin at, at late age, very really good skin. And you get a full, you keep a full head of hair because the essential fatty acids, while it's feeding the brain, it also feeds your skin on your face, all right? And I believe it's not just your face, it'll be the skin on your body. It won't be dry. So do remember that this is a very, the very important side benefits apart from just feeding the brain. Yep, I'm, I'm working on recipe books. So I'll include that recipe. Yeah. Courtesy of Ronald. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. All right. Have a great day and see you next week. Take yeah. care. Bye-bye. Okay.